What's up, everybody? <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about how you can use Instagram properly. Because, frankly, Instagram is pretty bad for you, I'd say. It's similar to all the other social medias. Basically, the biggest problem with it is if you scroll too much. If you spend too much time just scrolling, scrolling, swiping, swiping, blah, blah. It's going to be really bad for your attention span. And it's also going to be pretty bad for your mental health too. If you keep seeing a bunch of really ripped buff guys, it's going to make you feel worse about yourself. And another bad thing about Instagram is that, frankly, it's a waste of your time. You could use that time for so many other things like your homework or studying for a test, reading a book, <laughs> drawing something, anything really. Basically, you're wasting your time because... You could use that time for so many different things that could really benefit you in the future. And basically, the biggest problem is the scrolling, right? It's the loss of your attention span and you keep getting uh, that dopamine rush when you see something funny and you search for something funny again and you don't find it, right? Basically, Instagram may not be the best for you, but you could use it in a way that will actually benefit you a lot. And I'll tell you this right now. It's very simple. Post photos and then close the app. <laughs> That's basically it. So what I recommend is uh, post a photo where you look good, right? Post a couple photos maybe. If you went on holiday with your family or you went on a field trip and you have a couple good photos of yourself, post them, yeah. Post some good photos. Uh, if you want to put some good music in, in the background, sure, why not? So just post good content, good uh, good pictures and stuff. Nothing too degenerate, right? <laughs> you don't want anything crazy, right? Uh, that's what the only fan. That's what the only fans is for. <laughs> but just keep it tame, you know. You could have a shirtless picture, I think, and that that's probably fine. Especially if you're in the beach, right? Or you're swimming in the photo, that makes sense. But you don't want anything too crazy, basically. <laughs> but everything else is fine. So maybe a picture of you on a boat or on on the plane, on the way there. Yeah, that's totally fine. Or in a restaurant, just pick the pictures where you look the coolest, basically. <laughs> where you feel you look the coolest. And also the funny pictures, because that's just nice to have and post it on your Instagram. Once everything is perfect, post it and close the app. That's it. You can reply to messages if you had any messages, but I recommend just using WhatsApp or anything, a messenger or maybe basically just don't use Instagram to text other people. That's what I recommend because if you start texting people, you're gonna start using the app more and you're just gonna keep scrolling again because you got bored of replying. And yeah, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend communication through Instagram. You're much better off with like WhatsApp, Messenger, even email. <laughs> You're better off with there than using Instagram as uh, as that sort of texting app. And basically, that's it. It's simple. It's as simple as that. Just post it. Post your good pictures so that you can. How do I say it? so that you can look valuable online, basically. If you have a public account. If you have a private account, same thing. Just post, and then if you have any messages for, from people, you could like reply. Maybe if a really, really good friend of yours or a family member posted something, you can like, you can like it, you know? Or if someone's following you, you can follow them back. That's fine, and then close the app. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the video, I guess. So keep fighting for a better tomorrow and use Instagram wisely.